guys, it's Lenny, and today I'm going to be filming the video. As you can see from the title below, it is my Hamilton tag and Hamilton experience. Hamilton is literally one of my favorite musicals, and I love musicals. I sing them all doggone day. It's so annoying. But Hamilton is like literally one of my favorites, and it was such a life experiencing thing to go see it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be talking about my experience and answering the questions from the tag that I saw and I will link the person that I saw first down below and a couple other people's, um, tags that I've seen as well and experiences and stuff like that. And I will also be linking videos and stuff that I mentioned, even videos I don't mention because there are so many great aspects in the show. So yeah, I'll link those down below but i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you like comment and subscribe and let's get started so first i'm just going to talk about my experience with the whole process of going to see the entire show first i'm going to start out when i found out when tickets were coming and when the show was coming to the orpheum here um so i found out around like summer 2017 that hamilton was coming to the orpheum in my city and i knew i definitely wanted to go i went on the orpheum's website and you know looked up hamilton it just said dates to be announced <laughs> like there were no dates then i waited a couple months later they had dates but they did not have the prices of the tickets yet so i was like oh i need to know when these tickets are i really want to go to the show 2018 came around i thought the show was coming in 2018 show still wasn't here and there still weren't prices so i was like okay what's really going on um i need to see this show around the beginning of this year it, it had to be around the beginning of this year they finally dropped the prices of the tickets and i was like okay i need to buy them but you had to wait because i was buying mine through Ticketmaster instead of just going to the actual orgasm and getting them but yeah and plus there was lines to get the tickets at the Orpheum from what I was told. So I might as well just go on Ticketmaster. But yeah, so wanted to get them, couldn't get them. So one of my coworkers that I work with that I want to go see this musical, she said she wants to go see it. But we couldn't see it when I went to go see it. So I told another coworker and she actually got me tickets to go with her and I paid her back. So I paid like $200 for my ticket and we sat like in the balcony area. So it was amazing. So I know a lot of people have a hard time getting tickets. Yes and no, I kind of did have a hard time getting tickets. Yes, because I didn't get them when I wanted to. And no, because I got a ticket and there was a couple more left for the show that I wanted to go. The only thing is that the show is, of course, very, very pricey. And if you wait last minute to get your tickets, the prices skyrocket. Like they are expensive if you wait last minute so if you definitely want to see the show you definitely know you're going get the tickets ahead of time while you can because um i went to the show on friday and this was two days before they were doing their final show and the sunday show was sold out completely and the saturday show like they had tickets but like they were starting at like four hundred dollars and there's no telling where you were sitting but yeah so tickets fine we got to the orpheum parked got in the building got our tickets because we had them in her email and then we were ushered to our seats as soon as we sat down in our seats the show was starting we literally got to our seats like at the like last minute but show started you know it started off with the introduction of you know alexander hamilton if you listen to the alexander hamilton song you listen to like the last portion when everybody announces what they did with him you get like a small synopsis of what's going on like a little bit so you have we fought with him which is hercules mulligan and the same dude that played him also played james madison you also have lafayette and the same dude that played him also played thomas jefferson me i died for him so poor philip we love him but you have philip hamilton the same dude that played him played john lawrence and me i trusted him of course just george washington me i loved him you have three women up there three you have elizabeth angelica and you have maria reynolds and the same girl that played maria reynolds also played peggy but you have those three standing up there too and i was like 
you get a small synopsis of what's going on and then of course you have and me i'm the damn fool that shot him from aaron burr but yeah then of course my shot that is like a banger song i probably sound so old but yeah banger song love that we get to Skylar Sisters. I love that song so much. It's one of my favorites. So I was so happy with that. Choreography, amazing. Work, helpless, satisfied. When we got to satisfy that song, that choreography blew me away. Literally, it blew us all away. When you get to rewind, literally my mouth, like my jaw dropped. I was like, that is amazing that is so creative to rewind all the way back to helpless and also to the winter's ball winter's ball when angelica and hamilton talk and then helpless throughout that whole song and then back to the present and satisfied i was blown away if you have the opportunity to see this musical please see it legally not bootleg you need to see it like you need to experience this but satisfied was just the choreography just touched me so much like when you get to the rewind and you just see eliza and hamilton go all the way back to their kissing from their wedding all the way back down the aisle to the point where she got her bell like to just it was ugh. like i am so helpless like that choreography andy killed it you deserve that tell me and then we had you know um 10 dual commandments love that wait for it love that and then we have that would be enough when i saw that would be enough that made me cry when alexander hamilton got to touch eliza's stomach to find out she was pregnant and that they would be having a child it just seemed so pure and i just love that scene like and then of course we have guns and jibs like love it even though i can't wrap it love it history has his eyes on you that makes me cry all the time for some reason and then yorktown world turned upside down that is literally my favorite song ever that was like the one song i used to listen to so much going to school i heard that song and i had it on repeat i was just so mesmerized by it like love it it's a beautiful song so yeah then we have what comes next and that was amazing it, king george was literally a character he was so funny so hilarious he kept all of us laughing i laughed at like all his jokes so love that and then we have non-stop non-stop is like one of my favorite songs it has like one of my favorite lines in here which is john jay got sick after writing five james madison wrote 29 hamilton wrote the other 51 and we had our intermission so 15 minutes I want to number one get merch and then I also want to take pictures and use the restroom. I didn't hear about anybody else's experiences when they went to go see the play. Play when they went to go see the musical. Um, but I did not expect the restroom line to be that long. But I went downstairs and I got merch because there was not a line and I wanted to get some before there was a line. We took our pictures because there was a line and then I got in this bathroom line and the bathroom line was right behind where we took pictures and this line was so long. And I probably spent like eight minutes trying to get pictures and merch. So I had about like what, seven minutes left to use the restroom and the line was long and it really wasn't moving. And I'm like, uh, I'm gonna be late if I try to use the restroom and like the lights started like dimming down again so we ran back to our seats start the show with what did i miss which i love we finally get to see thomas jefferson and james madison we got to hear all the other songs that we heard say no to this which i freaking love and right after say no to this is the room where it happened which i love but I always do birds ending scene in the house and my mom looks at me like i'm crazy and i'm just like ma'am you, you just have to see the musical to understand what I'm doing. So yeah, we listened to both Cabinet Battles, which I love, and then One Last Time came on. And every time I listen to One Last Time, I always cry. So when George Washington was singing it, I'm bawling my eyes out. I cannot listen to it without crying. Then we have, we know Hurricane Reynolds pamphlet, which is like, ugh. Reynolds pamphlet. Thomas Jefferson was such a character in Reynolds pamphlet. So was Key George. Both of them are iconic. I love them both. They are amazing. Then we have Burn, which is like one of my 
favorite songs i love singing to that song i literally cry every time i listen to it like this song just touches my soul for some reason so of course we have blow us all away stay alive and then quiet of town all in that scene of where you know Liza separates herself from hamilton and then you see hamilton trying to live a, a i mean a better life i mean he basically in his political career with the Reynolds pamphlet and then you have his son Philip who dies which is so sad a heartbreaking scene and then you know Hamilton and Eliza come back together after such a devastating event but they come back together then we have the election of 1800 which I love that song so your obedient servant which I love um best of wives best of women the world was wild enough which I love and then who lives with guys to tell your story which made me cry we got to that song and my eyes were bawling at me i'm just like no please stop crying like you need to stop but like the girl who um played eliza was just so beautiful like the end of the show literally my eyes were bawling i was surprised my mascara did not mess up but i loved it so now i'm going to show you guys the merch that i got and i only got one thing when i was at the show and then i ordered something else after the show because i really wanted to see it. when we went downstairs doing the intermission i definitely got merch like i said so i just got this shirt it's just the plain hamilton shirt with the hamilton logo and i got this in a medium it shrunk a little bit but i will say like, get your size i just wanted to size up to wear with leggings but when i wore with leggings it was super duper long so next time i want to buy this shirt again i think i might just get a small that's what i got when we were at the show and then i really wanted some buttons so i just got these i ordered these from the app um so yeah they just have like six buttons on there and i just want to put them on my backpack so yeah so of course i have the program that they gave us i took like two of these and like this just makes me so happy but yeah that's all the stuff that i got so now i'm going to move in with the tag portion and i'm actually going to grab my macbook so i can get the questions and stuff and i will try and find a link for the questions down below for you guys and yeah question number one how did you find out about hamilton i found out about hamilton through my history teacher back in 2016 when i was a junior in high school and she was it was like the end of the school year so like of course we're not really doing much besides watching videos and just looking around and being on our phones and stuff so my teacher asked us if we have heard the uh alexander hamilton rap and we're sitting there class like no we don't really just look up stuff like this at home <laughs> no you know we just come here to learn and, and try and go home and pass these tests that y'all give but she showed us the um rap it was the alexander hamilton rap like the original like beginnings of it this is when um president barack obama invited lynn and like other um freestyle people to the white house poetry jam and he performed that and that was like the beginnings of that and i will link that video down below for you guys it's so good so she played that for us and i was shook my other classmates were probably like uh we don't really care we're just ready to go home um uh, because it was like our last class period so that was like our seventh period but i was so fascinated by it so i like took a picture of the screen that she played it on if i can find a picture i'll probably try to insert it here but it was such a long time ago um but i came home listened to it i was literally shook buy it again but yeah so we watched that in class and then she also told us about the play she was telling us how she saw the musical in chicago and how the tickets were extremely expensive like 300 dollars. they started off like that and i was like sitting up high 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 but she said it was so good like amazing but after we left that class nobody else really talked about hamilton especially the school i went to it really wasn't like a performing arts school um so the next time i heard about hamilton is when i took theater my freshman year of college and my teacher asked us have we ever heard of it because she was going to play a video for us in class and i'm like i've heard of it before just i really didn't listen to it you know but she played the video of the 70th annual tony awards when the original cast performed history has his eyes on you yorktown um world turned upside down so yeah she played that video we saw it and i was mesmerized 
literally listened to that video i had got goosebumps so every time i watch that video i just thank my theater teacher because that song gives me goosebumps all the time i just love that song it's just so like if you need a song to get you in the mood to do stuff just listen to that it's just banger amazing lit is what it is fire so yeah we played that and then i just became obsessed with hamilton and yeah so those two women thank y'all y'all have created this obsession for me and i really appreciate it question number two is who is your favorite character i have too many but if i had to choose it would be eliza angelica alexander and aaron burr the four of them i love them characters also ooh, see because i like king george and also like thomas jefferson um, if I had to choose someone, it'll, it'll be between Eliza and Angelica, so between the Skylar sisters, so yeah. Question number three, which character would you want to play? I would love to play Eliza. She just seems so nice, so sweet. She'd do anything for her family. Angelica, because she's just like confident. She's a boss. Or Aaron Burr, but I can't choose. Sorry. What is your favorite song to listen to? I have too many. I love the Skylar Sisters. I love Satisfied, Helpless, Yorktown, Say No to Zeus, Nonstop, What Did I Miss, Room Where It Happened, Burn, Election of 1800. But if I had to choose a song, it would probably be I'm gonna say two because these are the two that I love to listen to. So it would be Yorktown World Turned Upside Down and the Skylar Sisters. So yeah, I can't choose between those two. So yeah. Question number five is what is your favorite song to sing along with? I have two. It would be Satisfied and Burn. When those two songs come on, I know I'm singing the whole thing, like literally in character question number six what part of a song do you always mess up when singing along with um mine is when we get to my shot and he's like let me just polish it in college brush and bread but dang i messed up polish my balls i got a lot of brains but no polish i got a hot of just to be heard with every word or job knowledge i'm a dominant in the world shot because <laughs> what that wasn't even the part I mess up on. I'm gonna get a scholarship to be in college. I probably shouldn't grab it, man. I'm gonna be so I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I got a holler just to be heard with every word. The job knowledge, I'm a dominant in the world. I'm trying to piece of coal. That's the part. Trying to, trying to reach my goal, my power of speech. Unimpeachable. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't grab it, dang. I'm gonna be so the problem is I got a lot of brains with no polish. I got a holler just to be heard with every word. A drop of knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. Shine a piece of coal. Trying to reach my goal. My power of speech. Unimpeachable. Yeah. I finally get that part now. So I don't mess up with it anymore. Thank goodness. Because I would literally like go silent. Question number seven. Can you wrap guns and ships? Absolutely not. I literally cannot wrap guns and ships. I haven't even attempted. Because literally when I listen to Lafayette. I'm just like how are you rapping so fast like i literally had to train myself for satisfied that was a bit fast for me i had to train myself for that let alone guns and ships only parts i get in that song is the <laughs> or when um lafa is like we can end this war in your town cut them off the sea but for this to succeed there's someone else we need i know <laughs> That's like the only part I can get that Lafayette says. Other than that, I don't get it. I know the George Washington part because it's like pretty slow, but like Lafayette rapping. No, it's a no for me. Number eight, which cast member would you most like to meet? I would love to meet Lynn. Oh my gosh, I love him. Lynn is just a creative genius. Like he is literally above and beyond. I love him him so much i would love to meet him the thing is also i would love to work with him on a play like probably make a play with him or be in a musical or something with him i think that would be such a like dream a goal of mine just to work with him that's a dream that's a goal that's a amazing 
amazing like i just love him but i would love to meet the entire original cast from the broadway show i would love to meet them so of course lynn philippa jasmine renee oak davi leslie anthony jonathan i, I want to meet all of them every single last one of them so i think that would be inspirational as well like if i could meet all of them that would be amazing that would be a life dream but if i had to choose someone it'll be lynn question number nine have you seen the show yes i just told you guys about my experience seeing the show so i saw the philip tour so yeah they were beautiful amazing talented amazing so yeah Question number 10, have you read the book? No, I haven't, but when I get the chance to, I will let you guys know, so yeah. Question number 11, what is your favorite line from the show? I have too many favorite lines, exactly. Um, I don't have just one, I have like, I have favorite lines in like each song, but I'm gonna give you a couple. You want a revolution, I want a revelation. So let's to my declaration, we hold these truths to be self-evident that I'm gonna create it equal. And when Ami Thomas Jefferson, uh, I'm a compelling to glue women in the sequel. Word. And you walked in and my heart went boom. I practiced law bird work next door. John Jay got sick after writing five. James Madison wrote 29. Hamilton wrote the other 51. The last question is five words you would use to describe the show. So to me, the show was revolutionary, inspirational, phenomenal, creative, and unmatched. Like, I feel like nothing can really touch this musical. I mean, hello, a lot of people are literally trying to see it. And the show is selling out all the time. Like, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I will be trying to make more videos. It's just very difficult being in nursing school. I've also been trying to vlog, but it ain't working out. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yeah. Make sure you guys look in the description box because all my social medias will be linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.